welcome to General Shave. Welcome to the Midweek Shave. Oh, it's Thursday. But, uh, what I'm going to be shaving with today? What am I going to use for a while? That's what I have to ask myself. Right, the razor of today, the Mercure Opgress. I do believe it's only the second time <clears throat> I'm using this uh, on YouTube. So, three piece razor, two piece razor. I'm going to do the bottom like so. It's basically a Mercure Progress. Top comes away. If I unscrew it enough, like that, in there. I have a Euro Max blade on second use. Second use. Got the sunlight blasted in through the window here. Just simply put it together like so. Careful not to over tighten because you'll not be able to adjust the settings. Okay. Now, just like the progress, well, you've got a little triangle here. I don't know if you can make it out, it's a bit tricky. And just above that, we have a little line. Hard to spot, but that triangle must be in line with that little line. Other side of the razor, we don't have that. So, that's the side. If you don't do it, it won't be accurate. The Opgress, I pointed this out before when I've used it. There's no numbers <clears throat> on the dial. So uh, there's a very, very tiny dot there. I don't know if you can make it out, I'll just get it into the light. That's your gauge, that's all you got. So what I do, I count the first broad line, and I move along to the next broad line. That's two, three, four. I'm gonna call that set and four. That's what we're going with today. Unusually, unusually, I haven't laughed yet, but I'm using a, a sample. Uh, Sean Arter over in Canada, he sent me a load of samples some time ago. It took a while to get here. Mostly McDuff's. And today, I'm going to be using McDuff's version three, old Strathcona scent notes. It's a vegetable base soap. We've got bergamot, lemon, basil, tarragon, rosewood, geranium, tree moss, and it's natural tree moss, mushroom, absolute, carnation, absolute, vetiver, tonka bean, and white patchouli. So there's a lot going on in this soap. And spread it out on the bottom of my uh, Chinese soup bowl. Now, it was packed in these little plastic tubs by Sean, Sean Arter. And although these aren't airtight, this scent's pretty strong. It's a barbershop scent. And it's nice. Get the vet of it on the patchouli. I'm gonna be using my uh, Flanders Field uh, DS Cosmetics brush. It's been soaking, so it's just damp at the moment and not. And I like to use smooth bowls like this. It's like a caramel color, this so I like to use small, uh, smooth bowls like this when I'm using samples. Because you don't lose any of the sample in the uh, agitators of the bowl into the grooves, etc. And make sure you use all the soap. There's a the lava coming along here. As you see, it's uh, got a brown tinge to it. And it's a nice barbershop scent. It does come with a little warning that's uh, about the natural tree moss. Some uh, people have claimed that it can cause skin irritation, but there's really no scientific evidence of that. There's no proof of that. So if you read the set, if you go onto the uh, McDuff site, he does explain that to you. But, uh, tell you what, I've just got him with a damp brush. This is the lava. And I've not had to add any water since, just the damp brush which I would normally consider a dry brush. And the Euromax blade I'm using, that's on its second use. So, uh, day off today. Oh yeah. Wow. The better there. It's a nice floral scent. Nice barbage up. I'm getting there. Uh, I think this, the scents combined together, I'm getting like a licorice. Like a licorice kick. So that's a good old mix in there. Yeah, it's rare for me to lava on the camera, but uh, I have to do it now and again, just to show that I can. And it's starting to take the water on board now. It's a little sample, but look at the amount of uh, lava it's producing. Excellent stuff. So I'm just dipping the tips, shaking them off back into the bowl.
nice flippy floppy sound. Look at that. Magnificent. And that's what I'm going to be going with. Okay, wet the chops. Not a shower, but it's about 20 minutes ago. I uh, shaved the dome with a leaf. And usually after shaving the dome, I do like to shower afterwards, just to make sure all the residue and gunk's gone. So I've got a bit of sunlight coming in that window there, but I'm using a, a ring light as a fill light here. So uh, I hope that's working. Now what are we all doing midway through, midway through the week? Of course, my job. No such thing as weekends. Oh, look at the colour of that. Well, as far as I'm aware, and I have checked, I have looked, but I don't know if this McDuff's is uh, available in the UK at the moment. There is, uh, I have found the European site. I know it's European because the prices are in euros. <laughs> I'm not too sure if any of the uh, UK distributors are selling it yet. Get the arms, hope they do. And you get so much choice these days, it's uh, unbelievable. I'll just paint it onto the chops. Quite a stiff brush this for a synthetic, but uh, great for hard soaps. Not that this was hard, it was like a caramel colour and a caramel consistency. <laughs> a lot of it building up under my nostrils there. Yes, yeah, so uh, Day off today, day off tomorrow. I think the pub's calling, guys. Okay, so this is what I call set and four on the Mercure Opgress. And yeah, lots of uh, slickness on the fingertips here. Here we go. That blade's playing nice music. And thank you to everybody who uh, joined me Sunday evening for the live shave. Quite enjoy doing them. That's why I was so keen to get to the 1000 subs. Oh, listen to that. Just so I could uh, do the live shave, really. And of course, the, uh, the Automax is one of my favourite blades. Now, not a lot of people can say that. It's uh, quite an unsung hero, really. But I'd definitely put it up there with the likes of uh, the Nasset. And I just don't know why more people don't use them because their price is good. In fact, I've just ordered some more from eBay. I think there is a company in the UK that does sell the Oramax blade, uh, La Barbiera, and they're based in the northeast of England. We were in a town called Bishop Auckland. Doesn't look around this razor. 
which is what you want. Excellent. Now I've got a wee put on my chin, I've picked up a bit of blood from the wee put under the nostril there. Oh, those upstrokes are really nice. Didn't even feel a little spot about there. Didn't feel myself catch it. I say that shave was very, very smooth. Wonderful. Okay. <clears throat> Those spectacle wearers, I'm afraid. To alter this, the settings on this razor, you're going to have to put your, your specs on. I do anyways. Okay, so I'm gonna drop it down to the next wide line. So that's what I'll call setting three on this razor. It's great anyway, you've got to make up your own settings. Slickness and abundance. McGuff's so I'm just loving that colour. I don't know if you can make out the colour there. Nice caramel colour. <laughs> that was going to be a pink, pink colour. Little Japanese flag under the nose. Don't think about me, if I do have a little, I do get played by pimples and spots and they were shaved them off and so be it, you know. It's not worth worrying about. Nice sense. Quite unique. Quite a unique barbershop sense. I know we all have different ideas of what a barbershop sense should be. But it's, uh, hmm, quite nice. Think about this razor as well. Not very grippy, so you need to make sure the handle and your hands are free of lava and uh, slickness across the grain. Now with this razor, of course, there is a danger because there's no numbers on the dial. <laughs> if you're not careful, you're not used to it. You're going to end up ramping it up instead of ramping it down. So it is something you have to watch out for. It does seem nuts that there is no uh, numbers on the dial, but I'm just testing out the slip master. I haven't finished the shade yet, but the uh, I know this post shade feels gonna be good. Don't know if you can hear any sound from outside, but there's a sports wheel just over the back there. So there's uh, people out playing football. They're not making a lot of noise, no? No problem. Right. But this razor, if you're not used to it, and you've just started this type of shaving, I would advise starting off on the lower settings because it can be a beast on the higher. Up to now, all okay. The 
Very smooth. Very smooth. This is on my Reaper stock. Oh, it just sings to you, this razor. It just sings to you. Now, if you're looking at this razor and you're thinking, I wouldn't mind that. You can if you don't if you didn't want to pay for the uh, modernized version. This is a modernized uh, Mercure Progress. The plastic top uh, knob has been taken away, and replaced by this uh, metal knob. If you didn't want to pay the price tag for this, you could just opt for the uh, Mercure Progress. At least that way you'll have some numbers on the dial and you'll know where you are. Okay. Specs on because I'm gonna dial down again. Again. I struggle to find that little dot. You see it there? Just make it out. I'm just holding it in the ring light there. And I'm ramping down one notch. So this should be what we call setting two. Or what I'm calling setting two. <clears throat> Very little overhang to be aware of on the Opgress. Basically, it Drop me uh, opgress. Yeah, she's okay. She slipped off there. Okay. I'm glad that wasn't one of my straight razors. Glad it didn't land on me toe. I think it's, uh, my memory serves me correctly. I think it's uh, over 100 grams in weight. So falling from the shelf here onto my toe, my unshod toe. A couple of shaving groups to mention on YouTube. I think it's CDB. Well, we certainly have been of it. I'm assuming he started it. Of course, Shave Talk. Shaving Talk. If you haven't come across that on Facebook, pop along. Quest to join. We've got the uh, traditional wet shaving magazine by Bobby Gillette. Again, head over, check that out. We'll be doing a live shave on there in the near future. Gentleman's Groom Room, no one. Need more members on there. So many of them now, so many of them. I think. Mean, my old Facebook, I log on Facebook and 99.9% uh, .9 of everything that comes on my Facebook newsfeed is shaving related. Lovely lava. So many good souls out now. <coughs> Honest. You need a bank loan. You need to buy every sh shaving soap you wanted. Again, that's only for nutters like us who are down the rabbit hole. If you're just starting this way of shaving, you find yourself on good shaving soap and you can stick with it. Don't have to pay a fortune, £5.50 for a tub of Prorasso. Shaving every day should last you a good few months. As I've put the settings down, just shortening my strokes. Quite to listen. Listen to the audio coming back off the blade. And it gives a good indication of what's still to be shaved off. Wow. Likewise, this blade, you know, this Yoramax is a cheap blade. By no means one of the most expensive. Well, in terms of performance, I'd be quite happy to share with nothing but the Auramax blade. Both for uh, head shaving and face shaving. Nice. 
nice. Unlike those uh, PIA stranglets that I recently bought, uh, won't be buying any more of those. Highly priced. I'm not that good. The PA strangler blades, I think the only way they're going to take off will be popular because they come in a nice little tuck with a nice little fancy design. And they're going to look good on people's shave the day pictures. That's the only thing good I can say about those. Yeah, so as you can uh, tell, I'm not a fan of the PAA strangler blade. And there is others out there of the same opinion, which is nice. It's always good to know that other people have the same opinion. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my job when everybody's uh, off at the weekend having a great time I work my weekends full midweek usually Plenty of sound, plenty of audio coming here from the blade and the razor. And that's against the grain there, and it's done a good job. One thing, when you do the razor, do you rotate after a few strokes, turn around, use the other side of the blade? It is a good practice because uh, if you like to get the most from your blade, and use your blade multiple times, you uh, make sure you get even wear from the edges. Wow. And that blade should see you through at least four shaves. This Yora Max will see you through more than four, even head shaving. And that's just gliding over. So relax in the neck, make sure I'm into the hollows. Quite happy with this so far. So I'm going to quick feel around. Snag under the jawline there. Uh, ever, ever so slightly. Just titchy, witchy bit on the cheeks. This is just an excuse to reapply this lava, really. What is that scent? That scent. I'd really love to. Uh, Of this scent and splash in my own collection. BBS there. BBS there. Okay, I'm gonna pull a plug on this warm water. I can get the uh, my fingers around the chain. Remember, I'm not in the studio here, I'm just like you, shaving. And the cold water is.
It's taken a very old rinse to get off, to rinse off. The residual slickness. There we go, I needed that. It's looked uh, quite scruffy before I shave. So uh, I think the last time I shaved was uh, Ooh, Monday evening. Yeah, so that was uh, much needed. Oh, so everywhere. Okay, post shave feel. Perfect. BBS. Good skin feel. Until that soap's got the old skin. That's really nice. Couldn't ask for better. It's a fantastic job on the neck that the uh, Opress. Superb. Absolutely superb. Right, for afters, say barbershop scent, floral barbershop scent of that. So I'm going to open with the uh, Williams Aqua Velvet. Just goes with everything. I always like to carry this with me when on my travels and skin bracer. That's if I'm not carrying uh, a set. Gentle sting, not a lot at all, not a lot at all. That Williams Aqua Elva goes perfect with that scent, and that soap scent. Well, it would do, barbershop. That would go with any barbershop scent, I reckon. That was a good one, that really was a good one. Okay, whoops, the daisies. Struggling here. So I'll just reset this uh, trigger. Okay, so for today was a, a sample from Mr. Sean Arter over in Canada, McDuff's, McDuff's Old Strathcona, Old Strathcona, which is a Belize, I believe is a town or village in North America, maybe Canada, well that's North America isn't it, there's the lava, whipped up with my uh, DS Cosmetics Flanders brush, you see, got plenty of lava left as well. Played for today. Sorry about this, a battered tuck, but I have ordered more. With the Euromax on its second use. I'll just pop that back in there. Razor for today was to make your Opgress. And all finished off with the Williams Aquavelva After Shave Splash. Okay, thanks for joining me for this week's great shave. It's been a pleasure. See you all further on the line, guys, perhaps at the weekend. Stay safe now. Enjoy the rest of your week. Take care. Bye-bye.